Well, I went to ride out at Fred Winters when I was still meant to be working in London. So that was about sort of, I don't know, I suppose I was 20 then. And then I went to Fred's in 1972, three, as his assistant. Had five years there, started training in 1978. So I suppose I've certainly been training 40 years and I suppose I've been in Lambourne 46 or something like that. Well, this was Peter Warwin's base. Um, he was at Windsor House where I started. And then he came out here and when seven, you know, when he was in his heyday, and Seven Bowers was as, you know, and he was champion trainer on the flat, and he had those, you know, he had some fantastic years here, and Grundies and all those sort of wonderful horses. And then, actually, Pete wanted to. He was downsizing a bit, and he wanted to go back to Windsor House and said did we want to come here so we were sort of doing the opposite we were sort of taking on another yard so we did a swap if you're going to train if you can't train here you wouldn't you can't train anywhere because the facilities we've got really the gallops are amazing and it's private and you've got all your own ground and all your own everything so you can go where you like when you like and it's just it's a lovely place to be you're you're out on your own I like that. Um, I mean, I liked sort of the like lockdown. It's very boring not being able to see people. But we have our own little bubble. I mean, there's about 40 something people living on the place. So um, we keep ourselves to ourselves. And um, it's the first time jumpers have ever been in Seven Barrows. And the, the place and the gallops have been here for hundreds of years. So, uh, but it's never had great big pounding national hunt hooves. I think Pete had a fit when he thought what I was gonna to do to his sacred gallops, but um, they don't make, they doesn't make any difference.